Right then, let's get started. So here we are on the screen now. What we need to do is um, retire the old manager in this file. We go retire. Yeah, I like that. Um, we'll add the new manager. Need to change the colours though. Pick Everton. Manager style, we'll just do this. And then... Oh, I forgot to change it. It doesn't matter. Anyway. We are... current squad as you can see on here but I wouldn't get too excited about this squad because I've got a feeling that quite a few of them will want to go so the expectation is to work with the wage budget grow the club's reputation okay we'll ignore these because Everton it's the end of the first season so these haven't been updated yet and we'll check afterwards. Uh, we'll go with that. Right. Just accept that for now. Apply for that. Uh, confirm. So uh, this is the tactic I use. Whenever I and that I'll just pick a downloaded tactic that, that works well. Particular tactics works with lower league teams as well. I'm doing a offline save with people's quite well with them. I've had a few I've been going up the leagues with them with this tactic. It's not the best when it comes to symmetrical, but just select the players there. But yeah, this is how we... I'm not the best when it comes to explaining tactics, but I'll just go into this so you can have a look. Transition as well. And then out of possession, like that. Oh uh, yeah, so that's the tactics sorted. Right, uh, let's carry on. So, first things first is get rid of all the dead wood, I like to call them. So, any player that's two stars, for instance, they're just going to. Same with these as well. So we'll just, like I said, I don't tend to keep any players that are less than three stars. We'll just get rid of these. We'll just release them. I did like a test save earlier just to do it a little bit and it's just pointless really. And then like players like these three here will will offer them out. And if we've got to get rid of them. Who else? We've got these two as well. Obviously Shane's Coleman have been there a very long time, but he's just not too old now. So we just need to get rid of him. Just need to have a bit of a massive clear up. So a lot of these players that are, have been at Everton for a while. Which is not good enough, but I'll offer them out. Yeah, hopefully get a transfer fee for them. Who else? Let's have a look. Leave the rest for now. 
See if I can cancel his. We'll leave the rest for now because obviously Everton have got some good youngsters coming through. Uh, he looks pretty good. Re uh, Regen. He is the best one. Yeah. All right, let's transfer clauses. I can cash out or buy. I'll just out these. Out the Anthony Gordon one. And just to get for this now. Uh, oh, annoyingly, they won't. Let's release half these players. Oh yeah, because I've got no money at the moment. Now we can see on the bank here, um, there's 507 million in the bank. They are projected to have 941 million in the end of next season, and then 1.7 billion at the end of the season after that. And our transfer budget, no, it's going to be 117 million, which I think is what we get from I remember from the test one I did, and then 185 in the next one, and then 200 million in the other one. So we're in for some, we're in for some fun times. I think we could definitely build a superstar team with this. Um, but yeah, let's just skip this because obviously can't release anybody at the moment. Just get rid of these. Um, usually just set the staff recommendations on things. So I'll try and do it a little bit slowly so you can read it. I'm not too bothered about it because 99% of the time it doesn't really affect how I'm doing it. But it's something that you might be interested in. I'm not going to do the induction for that. Forward. Uh, the next couple of days and weeks in this preseason, I'm probably going to try and skip forward as much as possible. Uh, right, so here's the end of season review from last season. It's not really worth doing. Um, as you can see, Everton relegated. They did have minus 10 points at the start. And they, uh, so even if they got the extra, I mean, they would have been about here they, if they didn't have that 10 point deduction. So they probably would have just about stayed up and born before they gone down. But fortunately, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Team of the season, who was their top goal scorer? Calvin Lewin at 13 goals. Uh, Idrius Gay was the player of the season there. The young player of the season was Dwight Neal. So here we go. So the board have set the initial wage budget for the coming season at 2.9 per week, which is a ridiculous amount in the championship, and a transfer budget of 189 million. That is a ridiculous amount of money. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to release all them rubbish players again. Now I can do it properly this time. Right.
So the board for this season want us to sign, sign high reputation players, um, sign players under the age of 23 for the first team. It's a bit conflicting because they want us to sign high reputation, high reputation players, but also players under the age of 23. Now, what I'm planning to do for this season That, that way and then next season see how it goes there if any of them are good enough i'll keep them if they're not i'll just get rid of them because i'm going to have a massive budget again so i can just do that so it'll be constant rebuilds until we get a squad settled and fighting for premiership titles and champions league titles so they want us to work within the wage budget which will be very easy considering Grow the world, the country. Which is a, 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 not a bad thing. It's like a Bruce's million uh, situation. They want us to develop the best youth system in the country. Might be a bit difficult to start off with. I was, and obviously they want us to gain automatic promotion to the Premier League. We should be able to do that. Right, there we go. So there's a few players that want to chat to us. Tarkowski is the first one. What would you want? I have no intention of staying at the club following our relegation. I need to move to a bigger team. That's fair enough. So I'm going to reply with, I can see where you're coming from. And deep down, I probably knew that you wouldn't be able to keep here much longer. I'll try to find you a new club as soon as possible. So basically going to do the same response for every single player and then this is what i do now is i have a word with their agent whatever they call it basically somebody like that wants to make money off of a piece we'll do that even though he's 31, so I'm not expecting a good player, though. Uh, player of the season, Gay, Idris Gay, wants to leave. He's 34 years old, so... It's the same thing for him. We'll offer him out. I do that with I did do that with didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh Calvert Lyric wants to leave, so we'll do the same for him. Basically, we'll just get rid of players that don't want to be here because what's the point in having them? We can make money selling them and boost that already ridiculously high transfer budget, and we can probably get better players in the long run. So we'll attach a percentage is. Uh, Anana, who's probably our best prospect, wants to leave, but there's nothing we can do about that. Wants to go, he wants to go. Um, we'll catch a percent, we'll put that in there as a no negotiations on that. Nathan Patterson, another one of our prospects, wants to go, and that's and leave a massive hole right back. We'll also attach a Because of the fact is that we're just going to get rid of a lot of the high earners at the club. So, uh, make it interesting indeed. Like I said, it's not probably for everyone this type of say because it's probably going to get very, very easy very quickly. But while I'm getting used to 
producing content. I'd rather just keep it a little bit easy. So do a harder side. The plan is basically to do a couple of seasons where I return as a YouTube series and then do a different save. I haven't figured it out yet for YouTube. I've got currently doing a Newcastle United save on Twitch. So feel free to watch me live on Twitch. I'm usually on 2 p.m. most afternoons in the week. Uh, I don't stream on weekends. But yeah, if you want to find me on there, just search for Lutra FM, same as my name on YouTube. And I will be live streaming. Feel free to join in the chat. Always welcome to speak to new people. having a, quite an entertaining time with them. I managed to sign the greatest of all time in my second season in charge of Newcastle. I won the Premier League uh, in my first season and I managed to get Leo Messi and I decided to bring in I have a Barcelona reunion so I brought in I brought in Luis Suarez who will play as like a backup striker. I've got Jordi Alba and Sergio Vasquez there as well. So uh, a few of Messi's best mates to keep him happy. But yeah, feel free to join in the fun on the Twitch. Always appreciate it. And feel free to also subscribe if you like this content. I will try and be I will try and produce a video on YouTube every day. But I'm always I always appreciate comments because it helps me become a better content creator. Um, so yes, always appreciate it. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so it's just confirming that all these players are transfer listed. Now we'll just play the waiting game now. Confirmation that we've released a lot of these players that were just not good enough. Let's skip. The plan is to do about half an hour each video and then just produce a couple and then edit them and stuff like that. So hopefully by the end of today, the day is it today, the third of January, so hopefully today, third of January, I will post my first Everton video. I've already got the thumbnail sorted, stuff like that. I've just got to edit them and I'm not the best editing yet because I've only just started. So yeah, so we've had an offer for Beto. 13 million, just over 13 million, which is not too bad. Just gonna, we've just obviously got a percentage of profit in the next sale as well. So it'll help with the long term finances, Everton. Not that we need to. We've had an offer for Calvin Lewis, 14 million. I'm gonna just see if I can add a percentage of the next deal. Yep, Man United are happy with that. Sorry, um, yeah, Man United, yeah. Then we'll just do the same for West Ham. Hopefully, they'll be. Happy with that. They're not, I say a loss. So no, they're happy as well. I'll just do let's just skip this quickly. Okay, so Gay is wanted by Marseille and Alaveras. Just accept that. Off this 12 million for Tukowski, which is pretty decent. I'll just do a cheeky 10% on there. No, oh that backfired on me. Okay, that's fair enough. He's not happy with that, I understand. He's handed in a transfer request. Hopefully we'll get another offer for him soon enough. We'll offer him out again. Hopefully that'll be sorted. Sometimes you... Uh, this FM, it's a bit annoying because you'll ask for a percentage and sometimes they just cancel the deal. They won't even like negotiate and say, no, they'll just cancel the whole deal. That's a ridiculously low offer for Ta Tukowski. I'm going to be cheating on offer 50. Ask for 50. No, fair enough. But offer to uh, Jordan Pickford. 
See if they'll give us 15. Not that one. 15 and like that. No, we're not happy with that. Eh, is non negotiable, so we'll just come on. We'll probably get off of Skalski and Jordan Pickford that will be more to our liking soon enough. So, worst case scenario, we'll just keep them through the season and they'll probably want to stay with us next season. As you'd like to sign him, because I, I, I always think he'll just end up telling the players off when they're being rubbish. That so cheers me up. I wonder if I can bring in Roy Keane as well. Imagine that, Stuart Pearce and Roy Keane combination. Look. See you on here. Roy Keane, he's already assistant manager at Lincoln City. Oh, well. I didn't know Roy Keane was at uh, Lincoln City. I don't know if that's a... Oh, that'll be because in the game. I thought that happened in real life. I still think he's on Sky, I assume. Uh, nobody wants Calvin Lewis, we'll try again. All that. So, so 15%. Hopefully, we will go in for it. Do the same for Pickford. The agent talking to players, uh, talking to the other clubs. Hire an intermediary, why not happen? That in. Hopefully, we'll get some offers for these. Same with Tukowski again. Do the same him. Do that. Um, ultimately, if we don't get a call through, it's not going to matter that much because um, he's 31, so even if he moves on, he's not going to move on for much. So his value's gone down already. That's, I hate it when FM does that. We get rid of him, we get rid of him. He's already got an offer, hasn't he? Yeah. There's no pressure for us to lower that down. He got an offer yet? No, he's got two of the uh two of the big Italian teams after him and Leeds as well. Get an intermediate, no. His value's gone down as well. I hate it. They just do that on their own. Why say you can get 50 million for a player, and then all of a sudden, as soon as you transfer list him, it goes down to like half of it. Really frustrating. Some of these players we might not be able to shift. We might, or we might have to accept that we're going to have to pay some of their wages just to get them off the out of the squad. We'll try again. Hopefully, we'll get some uh, renewed interest. Yeah, I'd like to keep him, Jared Bray, right? Bray, wait, Bray, Brand, Brand, wait, I do apologise. Not that these, not that Jared, uh, Brand, wait, would be in this. By the way, I butcher people's names, so please don't take offence if I get every single person's name on here. We've got some new offers for Calvin Lewis. Um, we'll accept them. Ah. A few of the players that want to leave are going to leave now. Good. Oh yeah, so this this save file that I've got quite a lot of leagues, countries on here, and a lot of them are not not going to be bothered about. So I need to get rid of. It's all of Scotland. Uh, uh, oh. uh, 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 with all of Brazil, all of Argentina. Uh, I've got a decent gaming laptop though, so it shouldn't be too. I mean, as you can see, that it isn't going too slow when I'm doing this, so that's good. Analysis or oh, recruitment analysis, sorry. Two spaces for that. Really fill these in. Nice little name, Tobias Loveland.
Holster Rant. I remember him playing for Oldham and Bradford back in the day. Harry Phillips. I heard of him before. I can't remember what, what team he played for there. Only one coach. What are you going for here? Not really anybody good here, so we're just going to continue with that. Hopefully in a few days we'll get a few players um, and then I could start. What I like to do is get rid of the dead wood first and then have a look and see where I need to strengthen. That's a terrible offer for probably 10 million. Probably going to automatically reject this, so but it's no big loss at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll accept that. Fine. Uh, I want percentage of the next uh, deal, thank you. No, well, you ain't getting in there. I'll play hardball with an Anna. Now it doesn't look like he's going anytime soon. That's a bit disappointing. Oh well, looks like he's going to be staying here for a bit longer. We won't bother faffing around with Skalski, we'll just accept all these. Saying, no, Jordan Pickford, we've gone from 20 million to 5 million. That is bad. Let's see if we can get. Sure. Profit of the next deal. Bump it to five million. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. They're getting a the bargain, Jordan Pickford, for five million. Only 30 years old in the prime years of his life as a goalkeeper. He's out the door as well. It's going to be hard to replace him with a goalkeeper of that quality, for that amount of money. No, I'm not extending it out. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll send him out on loan again. In contrast for these players. Yeah, sometimes I go a bit quick, so I apologize. That's annoying. Please let me know in the comments on the video. Get there and see what happens next. Hopefully, we'll get rid of all these. Fill all these stuff up quite quickly and we can concentrate on recruitment after that. I just I think it's just OCD about me. I like to get everything all nicely done first so that I can then go on to the better parts of the game that we all like to do, like recruitment and stuff. Oops. Oops. We'll go for him. They're after Calvert Lewin. Are they making it up? That's a bloody shot. No, no, I'm sorry, but no. Not happening. I've got a keeper, Nana, for the season. When's his contract? How long have we got him in for? No, he's not going to be happy, but we're going for three years. If we get promoted back to the Premiership, he'll stay, hopefully. Or if he doesn't, means in January, if he's doing well, for us, he'll attract interest and hopefully we'll get a better through and then you can leave but then work the club's happy as well put in psycho Stuart Pierce 62 years old bloody hell and I felt like yesterday it was Euro 96 when he had that penalty I don't feel old now
performance analysis. Goalkeeping coach will slightly go. Searching. Go for Sun Smith. They've made an offer for Hydra's Gate. Had some more offers for Al Little Lyrian. They're not. I will be back. I'm not, I'm not happy with them because there's no percentage of the fee. Beto. Million. How much do you accept the other offer? Yeah, that's fine. Well, it doesn't matter if we don't get a future fee thing on that. Not enough of the call. Going to spend the rest of his career in Russia. That's a bit of a unique one for him. I hope it worked out for him. Everton Legends, Seamus Coleman. Um, I've, uh, as of today, I've bought some Everton polo tops. I couldn't find a football shirt in my size that was relatively financially acceptable. So I just found a couple of polo tops very cheap. So I bought a few of them. I'll be wearing them when I do these videos once they, once they get delivered at some point this week. But um, in the meantime, you'll have to make do with my look, see, Luke's Ref Out t shirt. Sorry that you can see my fat belly, by the way. But look, Luke's Ref Out. I've uh, got a t shirt made before I started doing all this. I've got a black one with a gold trim. So that's the, the logo on my YouTube and Twitch channel. And I also got a white one with a gold trim on it as well. And I got a gold one with a black trim. Uh, it didn't cost me much, a couple of quid each. I just thought it'd be funny just to wear them for the streams and the. YouTube videos. It's all about marketing, isn't it? Uh, so Calvin Lewis out the door. He's decided to join Man United and he rejected offers from West Ham, Fulham, and Brentford. Good luck to him. I hope he does well. So Andy Parslow is a formal coach, better than him. He's slightly better than him. So, uh, else do we need to get a new? Oh, well, if we get gaps later on, we can just send out another job center up later on during pre season. Uh, we've had no offers to these players. They only want to offer 400k. So, Rex and Rafa in to 500k and then that. And then we'll pay for some of his wages. Hopefully that'll work. We do the same for... Get something. It's better than releasing because it's going to cost us money, isn't it? Uh, they only want loans. So, I'll tell you what. Send you out a loan, but you've got to pay... Won't do as high as that. Oh, we don't want to do it for free. Um, one million. We'll do percentage profit. Let's see if we get any bites for him. Nobody after him at all, so we'll offer him out free transfer because at least it won't cost us anything when it comes to terminate his contract. Michael Keane is out the door. Good luck to you, buddy. Michael Keane, who spent many years at Everton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought he spent four years in that. Yep, seven years at Everton. He was a good servant for the club, but not he's he's getting on a bit and it's not what I need. So this episode's basically gonna consist of me getting players out the door, and then the next episode I do tomorrow will be us going and recruiting players and buying players, trying to get through preseason as well. Yeah. There's a lot of staff sorted. Um, Pickford's still not... Has he had offers, though? He has had offers, yeah. Okay. Uh, has James Kowski had offers? Uh, Nana did, but we didn't, didn't accept them, so let's try again. Hopefully, eventually, if we keep trying, somebody will make a decent offer for him. I mean, we're not asking for much, really. If we do that, and if we do... If we do... Try 15 million, because... 
He had offers of 17 and a half last time. We'll offer some of his wages as well. If we do 20k, that might help get rid of him. We've got uh, we've seven and a half million for Nathan Patterson. 15% will offer some of the wages. Oh, no, no, we're not offering that much. Uh, try 20k for now. Mike McNeil. Is that, is that? Offer him for 5 million plus percent of the deal. We'll offer uh, a wages as well. Hopefully, this will help get rid of some of these others as well. The more we get rid of, the better. We offer him up for 5 million. Something wrong with it. Uh, next deal. Um, we'll offer him some of his wage. We'll offer again 20k. Last one. He's still highly rated, highly valued, so that's good. I would like to have kept him, to be honest. We definitely want 20% of his next. Is a 30 million? Probably not going to get that, but offer 20. Well. Simon Smith's come in to improve our goalkeeping coaching. We've had offers now for Patterson. So Seven and a half, that's fair. It won't for him. So we do do four million him. Do percent that do offer we'll just leave it as that. Right, and after that, uh, we already know that because he's already. We want to tie James Garner down because he didn't leave. Wrong button there. Hope I haven't balls that up then. Um, Garner. Yeah, so far. I worry then that we accidentally can't deal. We've had offers for McNeil. Not offering him, not offering us any of the extensions of the profit, so we could. Try and hope that they'll accept this. Not asking for much. Yeah, they're happy with that. Oh, wrong one. Uh, I want to go off with this a little bit more. And we'll hopefully deal with it. Yep, that's good. More to our liking. Right, I'm off with this 10 million for Anana. And none of them are off with a future fee as well. So these are all going to get projected. So 15 million percentage percent offer you to the wage. I've accepted that, that's good. The same for these. It's a shame we can't. We used to be used to, on FM we used to be able to go and negotiate all, but for some reason it doesn't work anymore at the moment unless they've recently fixed it, but yeah, they seem alright with that. Um been the same for this, 15 million. 20%. Yep, I'm happy with that. 15 million. I know this bit's very tedious, I do apologise. Uh, uh. uh, uh, Brampwave, the young player of the month. Hopefully, that'll entice us to go through. Had Offers that are acceptable for uh, Nico Lenko. Everybody wants to bring in probably because of the thirty percent way. So we'll do that. That what? So we got rid of goalkeeper. We've replaced him the better one. The goalkeeper. Hopefully, it'll probably end up becoming our first team goalkeeper. I want to try and sign English players though, but I don't think there's many good English goalkeepers in the championship. I could be wrong. Please let me know in the comments section if you've got any um, players recommend players from, to recommend me for the next episode.
why have you opted to the day you're not open without releasing it? So Idris Gay is gone, he's gone to Marseille. Good luck to him. Some more wages off there. Okay, that's fine. Something for him, better than nothing. Wants to improve. He doesn't have to send you your out of here just for the fact that you've been cheeky. Uh, yeah. Can't, they can't, they can't, they can't. Uh, Ryan Ashley's gone. Greedy bugger. Sakowski's gone. He's gone to Newcastle. Good luck to him. It all works out for him. In real life, Sakowski would be a very good signing for Newcastle. They are very good in. Defense really because they've got well, not at the moment because they've lost seven games or six or games, seven games. But um, they got Shah and Botman and Dan Burn who can play a set of defense and probably somebody else can't. But he would definitely, Tkalki would definitely improve their already decent ish defense that they've got. So, uh, we'll move off a contract for James Coleman. Hopefully, he'll be out the door soon enough. Nathan Patterson's gone, he's gone to PSG. It's a good, good uh, deal for him. Um, Jordan Pickford's gone to Brighton. Offers for that rugby player. Keep going until all these deals are done. Any more have we got left? So we hide active deals, we get bounce. We've got James Coleman to go. We've got two players that we're not that bothered about. We got these two, so what I'll do is see what happens to these two, and then we'll call this video a day. Still got to edit it at the moment. It's a 40 long we've been going 51 minutes we've been going so far, and I've got to edit it down. Do a few more minutes, it'll be nearly an hour. The rubbish off of the no nana. Okay, so thank you. Got some more offers for Onana. Good deal for us. Deal for us as well. Nobody wants to go for it. We've had, we've had offers for We've had offers for growth rate, growth rate. Too, He's too um, highly valued. No, no big teams are going to go for him. Uh, we, hey, what, I'll offer him out on loan. Mandatory. The fee of a forty million. We'll see if we can that for him, and then we'll assist on. We're not for Veronada. We won't be accepting that.
Farmer signed a new contract. That's good. Bit of good news. He got a minimum fee though. Ah, that's good. We need him. He's very good with passing set pieces and things like that. He, he's a very good creative balls to have. And also because we've tied him down to a new contract as well. If he does decide to kick off and want to go to a bigger club, not for five years. So we have to, he'll have to go for do that. Not that we want to get rid of him. We're not trying to build a team around him, really. Right, Dwight Neal's gone to Monaco. And that's a decent deal for us and for him. Hopefully he can go on and do well there. Only 24 years old on this game, so still got his prime years to uh, happen. and bring him in the scouts are recommended no we won't they want to see more. right so we've had a few late offers for onana but they're uh, non-negotiable and none come with a transfer fee so uh sorry none will come with the percentage we're not doing that won't do that either He's not worth going for. Cancel that deal. So just confirmation of a few players that's gone. Uh, Michael Lenko has gone to Lille. Uh, sorry, stayed Reims. Patson's gone to PSG. Uh, Idris Gay Idris, uh, has gone to Marseille. Gay has gone to Marseille. I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. Eto has gone to Lyon. Uh, a lot of French teams signing our players, which is uh, nice to see. Uh, I like uh, I like managing French teams. So, Dwight yeah. Neal's gone to Monaco. Not now. One player I want to bring in. Before I end this episode, and it's a former player, uh, Everton, and always liked him. I'm just gonna squeeze that there. Uh, Ali Ali, they're gonna play him on a three year contract. I'm happy with that. So, uh, always had a soft spot for Deli Ali, always thought he was good at Tottenham, and then he died. And then I know he's, I know he's, he got a bit rubbish after a while, which is a shame, but he was. Going through a lot of mental health issues, and I've had my mental health issues as well. And I remember watching him on Gary Neville's podcast, and quite upsetting to see him talk about the abuse he had happened to him when he was a kid. So I try and sign Deli Ali on most of my saves. Um, signed him in a offline save I did with Barnet in like the second or third season. I was there, and he was thirty years old and wasn't the best player on the game, but when called upon, he'd come on off the bench and scored some important goals to get me promoted into, it was League 2 or something like that, or League 1, I can't remember, so he'd become an instant legend at Barnet, which was nice to see. That's so funny to see this here with uh, Victor Ossenhen. Because, uh, spoiler alert, in case anybody does decide to start watching my Twitch streams, which are also, I also put on my uh, on the YouTube channel that you can see now. So feel free if you want to start from the beginning of my Newcastle Twitch stream. It's um it's not edited, so it'll just literally just be me yabbering on for ages and playing the game. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to watch that, if you like that type of stuff. But yeah, in, on the game, I signed him for uh, Newcastle for uh, 86 million. Um, I've only played a few games in season two, and he's doing quite well. He's not good enough. Yeah, 
Yeah, so proper promotion to Kowski, he's gone to Newcastle, hopefully to play alongside us in here. Alvin Lewin has gone to Man United. Hopefully he'll be that missing ingredient they need, because in real life they could do with a player like him up front. Uh, as a Man United fan myself. Um, Michael Keane gone to Leeds to finish his career there. Signed the a player. Goalkeeper, Nicola uh, Cavalina. Signed him for 4.3 million. He's already valued at 11 and 30 million. Probably, even though he's a backup, he'll probably end up being the, unless I can get a better goalkeeper, he'll probably be the number one goalkeeper once Pickford goes. Confirmation that Jordan Pickford has gone. Brighton, good luck to him. They're not happy with me selling him, which is fair enough. Concerned that Nicola Avelina isn't ready to replace him. Well, that's fair enough. Um, is he a goalkeeper? He's a striker. Never heard of him before. Uh, finishing 14, not too bad. Early determined. We'll just give him a scout report. Bob in. Good player. Yeah, he's actually really good. We'll add him to the development list. Bring him out. Just sign him up to a new contract as well. Uh, so we've had a loan off of a Jared very five brand brand. Wait, I'll try and remember how to say that name properly in the next episode. It's a terrible offer, but we won't be accepting that. It looks like Grant Bate will be staying for the rest of this season unless we get a ridiculous offer. Uh, we need to make space for him. We've got three fitness coaches, and they're not very good. Get rid of the worst one. Big jump. Oops. Um, just And then a few scouts, hopefully that will help us get better players. Just got to find a place for it. So we'll just look for the worst scout to get rid of. Keep him. Hoyland. He's not very. I know he's alright, he's not too bad. He's better than uh, Hoyland. And they're, they're not. We do get rid of a lot of these scouts, to be honest, in the long run. This season, we'll just leave it as that. So we'll just get rid of Hoyland. The Hoyland. Like that. Travin's gone. Seamus Coleman's gone to Middlesbrough. Look to him. Bradley Moonlin's gone. We've got, we can get more scouts now. So I'll do that later. Next episode. Uh, let's just double check all the transfers out. So we'll just. Right, when the nana's gone, we'll call this episode to an end. Yeah, hopefully, like I said, I'm planning to do an episode for YouTube uh, every day. Hopefully, I can I can bring some out on the weekends, even if I'm not able to stream on Twitch. And I can do that. Uh, is he? Yeah, he, he'd be pretty good actually. I might just completely ignore the uh, policy I in place, and I might just. Sign the players I get recommended, right? So, another tap. I mean, they've given us a percentage of the next south 40 percent mandatory fee. Let's see if we can get that to yeah, let's see if we can. We, this might work out quite well for us, but we might be too greedy. I mean, they're offering us that. Uh, uh, let's just see if we can hold that up to any. Mm, I think we might be asking for two. Let's try 15. So, let's try seven and a half. 15. We're still gonna, yeah, we're still gonna, we're gonna hit 40% of the next sale. Be good. If he ends up doing well at this at Burnley and he goes to a bigger club, we'll get 40% of that. Like hardball, though, aren't they? Right, let's try and. That. Okay. They're not gonna budge, so we'll just accept it. If he wants to go, there's no point having him. It's a bit of a shit deal in the initial money we'll get, but if it, if he ends up going to a big club, like I said, it will pay off. Another rubbish off for, for Anana. I accepted it. Why are you kicking off? Or did I accidentally reject it? I accepted it. I swear to you. Yeah, I accepted it. Why are you moaning? Right, let's see if we can just offer him out for 30 million and see if we can get some actual... Uh, for him. We do 20% percentage profit. 
do that. It probably won't come to anything, but we'll see. Yeah, so Mika Marmon might be our first sign in. Right, let's see if we can. Ah, nobody wants to go for Brown Fight. Fair enough. So Brown Fight, unless he rejects the offer from Burnley, which he might still do, looks like he's going to go on loan to Burnley. Then it gets, we'll get 10 million. Get, I don't know. I think we'll get 15 million, but then we get 40% of the next deal. So we might end up being able to buy him back next year or something. Right, Anana's gone. He's gone to Leicester. And do that. Okay, right. So that's the episode done. Um, move this over here. Yeah, so that's the episode done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope you like my Rome Mysterio mask because it looked really cool. Um, and any comments would be reckon any comments you'd like to make, feel free to make them. I won't take offense, even if you think I look like an idiot in this mask, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, just I hope you enjoyed this first initial video. I will be producing another one. Uh, tomorrow and hopefully every day onwards so yeah so thank you for watching feel free to like the video and please feel free to subscribe the more subscribers i have the better for me i can produce more content for you and it shows that you're interested in what i'm doing so yeah on that note have a nice rest of your day and all the best thank you bye